What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen Bagen for another other playing video. And for today, it's finally time to play test Tama Mo no Mae in Arena. I'm gonna be play testing her damage in Arena because I am a PvP enjoyer and I really want to test out her damage in Arena since she is a uh, true scaler. Uh, if you don't know, her skill uh, scales with uh, HP. As you can see, damage dealt increases proportional to max health instead of attack and ignores the target's resilience. So I'm really curious of how much damage she will deal to the enemy uh, if you build her with HP. So I, I have her at 12.4k HP here. Uh, I'm rocking some uh, speed set on her. Uh, 207 speed, not, not, the bas not the fastest. But I'm gonna be pushing her with uh, the priority push from uh, Charlotte. I hope that it will be enough. Uh, we're gonna be fighting uh, some tanky slow turn 2 enemies. We're not going to be fighting against uh, speed uh, enemy with uh, six star demi blada because uh, it's really really hard to outspeed those uh, six star demi blada unless uh, you won the speed RNG. Uh, we have your critical chance 45%. I'm missing some 5% uh, to get it into 100% with Charlotte's buff, but. I am equipping Charlotte with uh, something like a critical talisman uh, to, to uh, come up with uh, more than 50% on uh, Tamamo critical rate so that uh, when Charlotte buffs my uh, Tamamo, uh, she will reach the 100% critical chance. Uh, I'm using a penetration necklace, not an HP necklace. Why? I really want to test out her damage with uh, some penetration uh, on the enemy. Uh, we can test out some HP, uh, full HP build, but right now this is what I've been uh, thinking on her. And also, I just got home from work. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> so, for maybe, maybe tomorrow I will be able to play test her. But right now, I'm gonna be play testing Tamamo no Mae because uh, this is the gear that I can come up with uh, Tamamo as of now. Uh, we're doing some play testing with lots of uh, characters. Uh, who, who can we fight? Demon. These are all past characters. Uh, why? Why only three? Is this, is this a bug? Oh. <coughs> Horizon. Horizon is uh, this one can be a bit tricky because uh, we have your uh, Meba, three star Meba. So, but we can test out uh, how good Meba is uh, as a uh, arena defense. Uh, where is my? Where is she? Where am I, Charlotte? Charlotte, where are you? There you are. I'm just making sure this one is 330 there. And then, just for some insurance, I need the main A here. Uh, it really does not matter the arrangement. Uh, Canon is on PB set. Okay. So I have here Tawamo no Mae. And then uh, Charlotte. Mainly has gears. Resurrection. Okay. Uh, I think we can outspend the horizon here. It's just for play testing the damage. Let us see the damage of uh, Tawamo here. Uh, with Charlotte's buff. Uh, for the critical chance and critical damage buff and some push so the priority now is uh yeah my if i use charlotte uh, she will uh, activate the skill to pushing the my mages let us see since i'm not gonna be inflicting some debuffs with charlotte here uh it's safe to say uh that uh, we can uh, get past 
uh, Meiba. Yeah, as you can see, we get past Meiba right there. Ooh, fuck. Okay, now, this is the interesting part. Let us see how much damage uh, she can deal with the enemy. This one is using uh, speed set only with HP subs. Uh, your typical uh, sub DPS uh, oriented uh, gear. And then a penetration necklace. Uh, let's just make it as a uh, slow mo. Let us see the damage. Skill 3, here we go. How much? Guaranteed crit. What? That's it? That's it? It's very, very uh, low. Fuck. <coughs> Does she really scales from... Uh... Now I'm really curious. Does she really scales from uh... HP? Why Why is the damage like that? It's very, very low. Like, come on. Come on. The damage is very low. So, she attacked my Charlotte. I don't care. I can just revive her. She counters attack, but the damage is very poop. The damage is very poop. Yeah. Oh, man. Why like that? And here I thought you're going to be good in uh, in arena. So my uh, attacks got sealed. The enemy now has invulnerability buff. Let's just heal. Uh, what this one can do. Reduce defense. Okay. But it's only for one turn. Fuck. So this one is... Uh, is a bit disappointing. Yeah, she is a bit disappointing. I'm not really uh, liking her uh, damage here. Maybe her damage multipliers are very, very low. I don't know, but you see the damage, right? See? That's the normal attack. 234. And my critical damage is around 300. My critical damage is around 300 with Charlotte's buff. So her damage is uh, on the low side. She is not like a cannon not like a demi dragon where i believe the damage multiplier and their skill sets are to the roof but still i was really expecting that uh, she can uh, at least deal some decent damage and i'm using the what do you call this the penetration necklace what more if we we, we use the what do you call this? The the full HP necklace. We will see how much uh, we can uh, deal with this one. Let me just uh, kill this cannon first. She is very, very disappointing. Yeah, not really that good. Bye bye, Cannon. 
again i'm gonna be changing the necklace now to uh, something like a full hp necklace maybe it can increase her damage i don't know let us find someone to fight first someone that is around uh, on the slow side wow six star imeba pompico shout out to you Uh, let's try to fight Horizon again because we can outspend this one this time around we're gonna be using the uh, dedicated uh, HP I think this one is good enough okay we're gonna be fighting horizon now again this one has 15,600 HP let us see let us see the difference from earlier earlier it's around 10k with damaging four characters already so that means around 2.5 per per character that's very 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 low yeah it's very very low This guy has a 100% counter chance. Like what? So attacks all enemies grant sustain recovery to all allies for one turn and increase chain points by 15. Increase the skill will loss of boss monsters by two turns. Uh... Let us see the damage. How much? Only 5k increase. Fuck. She is not meant as a DPS character. She is meant as a support character. That's probably uh, her whole kit. That's probably her whole kit right there. It's really, really disappointing. Uh, and here I thought it's going to be something good. Turns out she's not that great in PvP. But in PvE, definitely she's going to be really good because if you will see uh, gain more CP when, when using skill, uh, reducing the... I mean, increasing the skill cooldown of the boss enemies, something like that, and then has some uh, reduced defense uh, on uh, characters here, like this. But it did not proc Taj. Ah, uh, we can just kill this one uh, with Mayne. Pa. Well, there you go, guys. That is my playtesting for Tamamo no Mae in PvP. She is a bit disappointing in PvP. Yeah, her damage is very, very uh, low. And I think that even if you uh, try to increase her uh, damage, uh, I mean, her HP, the damage is still going to be... It's go still going to suck. Yeah, I'm really disappointed with her uh, her damage multiplier is probably on the low side damn it and here I thought she's going to be really good also in RTA when RTA comes uh, because she is a uh, because someone like uh, a true scaler like that one like Kano and De Demidraka they did not disappoint but this is the first time that we have a true scaler that really disappoints 
Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I think that's it for, for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.